Hi, I'm Linda Barlow, Managing Editor of the HealthWell Foundation blog, Real World Healthcare. Today I'm here with HealthWell's Alan Klein. Hi, Alan. Can you tell us a little bit about your role with the HealthWell Foundation? I sure can, Linda. My name is Alan Klein, and since 2015, I've been the Chief Development Officer for the HealthWell Foundation. And during that time, thanks to significant multifold increases in contributions from our donors, HealthWell has grown from assisting approximately 30,000 patients per year with their medication co-payments and insurance premiums to approximately 170,000 patients in the most recent annual measurement. HealthWell is meeting its mission and will continue to do so because all of our staff are committed to full legal and regulatory compliance across all departments, from finance to operations, to marketing and communication, to development. And as Chief Development Officer, my job is to interact with our donors and to manage the overall giving process in a manner that is in full compliance with our OIG advisory opinion, applicable legal and regulatory requirements, as well as our standard operating policies and procedures. Thanks, Alan. Can you share a few details about how you keep the corporate donation process compliant? We look to ensure compliance in the donation process by utilizing many different important procedures and safeguards. These include, but are not limited to, limiting donor point of contact to me as the Chief Development Officer and to our President. As two of the most senior staff members in the organization, we are both well-versed in the relevant laws, guidances, and procedures that must be followed when interacting with our corporate donors. We are therefore able to maintain compliant discussions and information exchanges with our donors throughout the entire process. Those trying to help patients in a compliant manner should be confident that we will always put compliance at the forefront of all of our interactions. We actually vet new donors just as much as they vet us. And additionally, we require strict compliance to our standard operating procedure for fund establishment. This is a mandatory procedure under which the physicians on our board, as well as our ethics advisor, discuss and decide whether a new fund should be established for a particular disease area and what the name and definition of any such fund should be. We proactively try to complete this process in advance of anticipated patient need and list those new funds for which we are seeking an initial donation on the funds and development section of our website. The new funds for which we seek initial donations are publicly viewable to all potentially interested parties. And prior to any official new fund opening, we ask our consultants to provide a list of products for which we will reimburse grantees in the disease area covered by the fund. That list is provided by a firm that is not given access to the identity of any potential donors contemplating a contribution. That list is also comprehensive in that includes all products that are either FDA approved or compendia listed for the particular disease area or ICD-10 codes. Healthwell then accepts and utilizes that entire list. And finally, completing a new fund checklist while we are obtaining our initial product list, and that checklist must be signed by a senior management representative prior to fund launch. The new fund checklist not only contains all of the defined fund parameters, operational procedures, and outreach plans, but also addresses the relevant regulatory and compliance requirements from our OIG advisory opinion. Uh, in addition to my ongoing availability, should any current or prospective donor wish to contact our president, corporate counsel, or chief compliance officer, we offer direct access to any of those individuals upon request. Well, I'm sure donors appreciate HealthWell's transparency and having access to all those key oversight individuals. And thank you, Linda, and thank you viewers for watching.